What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So we're about to get into, um, it's an old video of Easy speaking on the bisexual stud thing. And I kept looking for it, and for some reason, I couldn't find it. And I was telling everybody to look for it for me, and they couldn't find it. But I have it today. Me and my cousin spoke about it on another channel, which I'm going to guide y'all to the link. The link will be in the pinned comment, and we made some good points, but... We didn't get to this video, so I'm about to react to it. Let's get it. I guess the studs are upset, y'all, so let's talk about it. And don't mind me, I just got back from my red card premiere, so my edges is not laid. Sorry, but listen. So Bay right here, and I'm about to fill her in. She has no idea. We got our food, you know what I'm saying? We about to have a movie night, but I got to tell Bay what's been going on. The community, oh wait, first of all, do you remember that video? I was in the car, and I was talking about bisexual studs. Like, I think that studs can be bisexual. Based on what I've seen in the community and all my videos, I think that they can. I remember, I remember. Okay, so what do you think? Do you, before I even ask you, I just want to let you know that they're in an uproar right now. Oh, like, shit. Is they're upset? <laughs> Why are they mad? <laughs> because it's my opinion and I, you know, I'm a public figure, so I feel like they're upset with me because I'm a representation of the community. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I really think that studs can be bisexual. And now they think you're a representation or you should be representing the community because you happen to be a lesbian with a platform. Mm -hmm. Or did you like sign up to be the voice for the community? Oh no, I signed up to be the ultimate stud. And, oh, and the ultimate voice. The ultimate voice for the entire community. So I lead by example. I didn't know you could even do that. I'm not vague. I love that you're giving into it. But listen, no, for real, for real. Um, but because I have a platform or whatever, and you know I make this funny ass videos, like I always make fun of the community, especially based on. Wait, I just want to say this. I just okay. want to say this. I could see them like holding you to this like specific standard to be like you um, gotta, you know what I'm saying, like be politically correct and stuff. Mm -hmm. If you were not a comedian, like yeah, yeah, yeah. everything you that. do is funny. Uh -huh. everything you do is funny so like it's bizarre to me that they would choose like and say like you gotta be this upstanding lesbian lesbian you gotta be the voice of my voice and I fuck you cancel corny ass dusty crusty musty ass dyke that ain't really gay how yeah so anyway my opinions is that studs can be bisexual and i was informed that the actual terminology of a stud goes way back when when it actually means a massive presenting black african-american woman that's a lesbian and it's a term So I was watching one of these videos, one of them, one of the studs chewing Easy's ass out. <laughs> and she said that, isn't a stud a black lesbian um, masculine presenting woman? And I'm like, is it? Okay. So apparently it is. Okay. Learning something new. <laughs> Term for us. Like it was, it was made, for, I don't know. That's, that's what I was told. So. Got you, got you, got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So me being educated on the actual definition of it. I'm like, oh, okay. I see why they say that, that studs can't be. But I see so many people on my timeline that are studs that's coming out that they're bisexual. And people are slandering so them So what are they it. considering a black woman who is completely masculine presenting that the, does like to sleep with men and women? What are they, what would they be? They cannot as? be a stud. But at what all. are they then? I don't know. Bisexual, I guess. Okay, but yeah. I thought that studs was like how you present yourself. That's what I thought too. But <sighs> this is stupid. This is stupid. I think it is entirely too many politics around our vaginas. Um, the nerve of it to come from men and then the nerve of the community to put it on us too. I, I can't, um, I am in a relationship with a woman, proud to be in a relationship with a woman, love being in a relationship with a woman. And I do not, um, like men at all anymore. Okay. Cause at one point in my life I did. I've had my ups and I've had my downs, but baby, I'm done, okay? But with that being said, to the to the studs that <clears throat> like to date men or whatever, 
I've never thought it was an issue with it until I got around other studs and they made it an issue. Now, I never felt like I should be in a relationship with a guy because I just felt like it was unfair. <laughs> Here I am dressed like a guy, you know, um, presenting, you know what I'm saying, myself as if I am a guy, so to speak. And I just didn't feel like it was fair. So I was cool on being in a relationship with a guy. But from time to time, you know, I would backslide in Cleveland for those that don't know what it is, <laughs> you know. Uh, and it, it was just like, hmm, this is something that's unheard of and something that you don't talk about. But now, as a grown woman, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, there's too many politics. There. No label me. Hits that. Just like a femme, right? A is this a stupid? No, 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 no. 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 Yes, that let me give us no right. Like, we need to do this, all right? Teachers, you know what I'm saying? No pressure. No pressure. It's, it's hard to even speak about this <laughs> one because you know people be ready, ready. So listen, I was informed just recently that a stud, a stem, and a fib, those are all catered, I think, to just lesbians. Stud, stem, fem, lesbians only. Yes. Got it. So now knowing <laughs> that information. That's what we're told by the internet. I didn't Google it. I didn't look up the, in the lesbian, you know, the, the lesbian handbook. I didn't look it up in there, but they said on the internet Gotta that this is what handbook. that means. Gotta check the handbook. I know. Okay. okay. So, but either way, they're in an uproar and they're saying that all, pretty much just saying all this. I'm wrong. They hate me. And I, I'm pandering men Thank too. You. I know, babe. Oh, Wait, face. don't kiss me because they said our relationship is fake too. God damn. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. You're it. <laughs> well, what we gotta do with it? They came from our whole relationship. Oh my yes, god. Yes, I know. I'm like, damn. Yeah, we're engaged? Bruh, remember when we first got together, it was, oh, they not gonna last. Natalie's. Not only was they not gonna last, that it was fake. And I'm like, are we not looking at the same thing? <laughs> like, I know they're both comedians from time to time, but like, I. Straight, right? Then once we got together, they were saying we're gonna break up. Mm -hmm. Then once we got engaged, they're which we're engaged now, they're saying they're waiting for the divorce. We need to get we ain't married. Damn, they ain't, God damn, they ain't trying to give us no chance. Damn it! <laughs> Listen, you know what? I, I got it. I know what it is. Well, baby. Because they can't fathom that we could actually have like the careers of our dreams, mm. but also have the like partner of our dreams. And they're Come just on, hoping that one of them is fake. Mm -hmm. either the bag ain't really there or y'all don't really love each other what? please let one of them be fake <laughs> like they I don't know I just be feeling like mm. I, what excuse me. I just went down a whole easy hate train like little loophole it was like three videos and you know usually around this time when I drop my show like that's when the heat comes out or whatever because the Are engagement's up they weren't on the show I know. Damn, that's embarrassing. I know. I know. Embarrassing. I just can't imagine getting on the internet and actually spewing out hate towards somebody you don't know and then making you feel so angry. Like And that ain't got nothing to do with your vagina. I'm talking about nothing to do with your cat. It's my cat. Like imagine doing that no but listen baby okay. imagine doing that to somebody you've never met in your life that could be the sweetest soul but based off their content that you don't like you just hate them angrily hate but, them and their partner and the partner and, the, but, and it gotta be fake it gotta be fake hey we gonna be 80 years old and they still gonna be saying we're faking it they're gonna be like y'all are y'all been roommates this whole time yes pushing it old ass but i'm just saying i can't imagine getting on the internet and really just saying all this to somebody i don't know imagine them Imagine them somebody that just walk past and make them angry. They they obviously can't control their emotions. You feel me? And that's, I just that's feel a rough existence. That's that's super that's nice. like sucks for you to be that upset or whatever over my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Sending y'all love, light, 
and prosperity. You know what I'm saying? Like and happiness. And happiness. More happy days so yes. you don't spend so much time being mad at other people mm-hmm. that have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, I just be having my opinion. I make my little funny videos about shit I've seen. And, you know, I just have so much fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't build my career off of hating on other people. I didn't build my career off of slandering other people. And I've gotten really far. Maybe you should try it. And maybe God will send you positivity. With all that being said, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody that has been supporting me throughout all these years, y'all. Like, I've been doing this for so long. And for to be able to have my career still standing and to be able to start my own network called Studs TV, premiere my season two of Studs Atlanta, it's lit, y'all. We going, we going up, studs. We. I'm, I'm happy for her. They doing their thing. Let, let, let's look at this. I'm about to ask my opinion on this, but I'm gonna give it any place. I don't give a f- and If you don't like it, you don't have to listen. You can keep scrolling, block me. I don't give. A f- There's this big controversy about the buy stud, right? By layman's term, meaning a dictionary and all of that. Technically, a stud cannot be bi because a stud is a term used for a lesbian, right? Cool. However, if you was to look at somebody who's dressed masculine, you're automatically going to assume that they're a stud, which is why most people just say bi stud. Now, what I would say is to each his own because I'm a firm believer in being who the f*** you are. But when you be who you are, be honest about who you are. Whatever you like, be honest about it. And I'm not saying you got to be honest with society about it. I'm saying as long as your, your partner self. is cool, it's cool. And, your and in this situation, with what happened, her partner was cool with it. I am not for uh, women who are just in a relationship just getting dick down. Like, no. Nah. <laughs> Woo! Especially when your girlfriend ain't with that. Nah. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and 86 the whole operation, baby. We don't need to do that. Okay. <clears throat> However, if you single and you doing your thing, girl, that ain't none of my, you know what I'm saying? Like what another person eat will never make me. Sh- I never understand, but whatever. I understand it. Her partner recorded it. What I don't like is when she tried to deny that it was her. That's the only part that I don't like. Oh, because something that happened that I don't know. The rest of this world. And I can promise you that even Though y'all all all disagree or whatever like that, even if she was single, a bunch of females would still try to get at her just for being who she is. That's just reality. But to you men out there, not all of us are out here taking dick. If I didn't come to you and I didn't flirt with you nine times out of ten, that's not my lifestyle and that's not how I'm rocking. If you come at me and I shut you down... So, so... Me and my cousin was talking about this earlier, and I was asking him, like, what what is the attraction? Because what is it? What are we what are we talking about? Um, and basically, we still women. They still attracted, so to speak. But I want y'all to go look at it. Link is in the pinned comment. Um, but I agree with her. Like, if I'm not, because most of the time, I feel like when a woman want it, that's, that's, they going to get it. So you let them know, like, I'm interested. I want to get it. But... Since we're women, you can't stop a man from trying to holler at you anyway. So it just kind of is what it is. Um, but like I told my cousin, like, niggas is not about to be in a club. Like, hey, yo, shorty, what up? These women, like, <laughs> come on now. Get with the program. Read the room. Hello. Um, but it is a lot of controversy around it because of comfortability and uncomfortability with some people, as in some women that are studs, are cool with it. Man, what are you talking about? If I want to get some, I'm going to get some. Okay? If I want to date him, I'm going to do that. If I want to do whatever. Um, but some women are just the complete opposite. So, you know, it's just stupid. <laughs> Man enough to just stick with that. Or how about just not just approach every stud walking just because you saw one stud having sex with a man? So if we're going to go by the dictionary term, no, a stud cannot be bisexual. A mass presenting woman can be bisexual, however, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong, wrong with one penetration. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you're attracted to the other sex, even if all your life you've never been attracted to the other sex. And now all of a sudden you find yourself liking the other sex. That's okay. And don't give a f- about what society say. So I applaud her for coming out and being who she is. 
Now, whether she did it for money, whether she did it for whatever reason she did it for, whether that's really who she is, because I don't know, shorty. Does it really matter? No. I'm going to stop this because I don't, I don't really know what she's talking about. So I don't want to continue because I don't know what's going on. But I'm going to just say, people going to do what they want with their own private parts. No label me because this is stupid. I just, I, I wouldn't, you would never see me in women's clothing. You would never see me with a man, but you would never see me hating on a stud or a mass presenting woman dating a man. I don't care. <laughs> so that's all I got. Bye.